2TC is an achievement in Balloon's Tower Defense 6 where you need to complete a chimps game with only two towers involved. And today we're going to be doing this with the Glaive Lord and the Balloon Cineration. If you're watching this on the day of release of the video, happy update 41 everyone. So firstly, we're putting down our boomerang monkey here. And in update 41, it has received some rejuggles when it comes to the top path. Basically, the glaive ricochet, its uh, price has been reduced by half. Used to be 1200, now 600. What a buff that is. So essentially, you can now get it in half the time than you would normally be able to do so. So we're going to get glaives and then I'm just going to show you the price of this thing. Let's see, it goes like that. And yeah, glaive ricochet, 650. That is astonishing because that used to be what, 1300 in hard, but this is now viable very early on in the game. So it's pierce has been reduced from 60 to 30. And its bounce distance has been reduced from 90 to 60. So the bounce distance is like, how far can it go with the amount of distance that it has before it, it, it before it stops, really? But more glaives, the bounce distance remains at 180. Its pierce has been reduced from 100 to 80, but it's actually a buff rather than a nerf because its attack cooldown has been reduced from 0.6 seconds to 0.4 seconds you can fire out many more moa glaives and it's still a buff to its pierce because you can fire more of them out at any given point in time when it comes to the glaive lord however its bounce distance has increased from 180 to maximum so it literally is until it reaches the end of the map or something along those lines or the projectile itself has run out of time in which it can be on the screen so therefore it's now a thing where it could just survive until it reaches its pierce cap or it just runs out of time its distance is now unlimited or maxed out uh the orbital attack of the glaive lord itself no longer is able to do bonus damage to um to camo balloons which is a bit of a shame and but its orbital attack cooldown has been reduced from 0.1 to 0.08 so it's largely a buff but now let's move on to the mortar here so essentially in a nutshell top path and bottom path buffs middle path nerfs essentially when it comes to this thing so signal flare its price increased from 800 to 900 not a biggie but the camo removal radius has increased from 43 to 52. The price for shattering shells is reduced from 10,900 to 500. By the way, this is on hard mode because this is chimp. So obviously everything will be more expensive. So from there, 004 shattering shells, Moab damage over time damage has increased from five to 10. But if you get it to balloon buster, that's now at 15. So that means that the damage over time that its flames do increases from, well, not having the top path making it doubled, but now it's like, it's, it's tripled what it initially was. Honestly, it's just so horrific. <laughs> horrific as in very good for us, very bad for the balloons. The only drawback I would say still when it comes to top path over bottom path with the mortar monkey is the fact that we are initially um reducing the amount of times that we can attack on the field but now now that we're talking about the top path here it has had a bit of a rejig because its explosions with the big one itself are now the explosion damage type rather than the normal damage type so essentially black balloons and zebra balloons they're now no longer able to be damaged by the main center explosion itself. But I'm not too sure on the damage type of the shock radius. Maybe that has always just been a... Um, uh, ba -da 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 -da, what do you call it? A um, An explosion rather than normal. So you're going to... It's, it's a further incentivization to buy Striker Jones as your hero. 
so that then you're able to circumvent that weakness in a way or just get an MIB and I've realized I've been talking all of this time without a break but and when it comes to like changing the damage typing that's also been done to the top path monkey buccaneer and the um uh middle path tax shooter because that's now been changed from normal damage typing to shatter which means it can target frozen balloons and pop them but it's no longer able to pop lead balloons and this moab is not going down so there might have to be some rejigging here when it comes to the uh, ability to be able to take this thing down I don't think getting um maybe I should have maybe I should <laughs> my lot my mind was just lost there maybe I should not have gotten my glaives and just stuck with the uh the tier three because this is uh yeah retry last round thank you I've got to get used to that yeah, I'm gonna restart this and just get a two zero two boomerang so that we can afford the shattering shells because honestly. But like, well, even with that, we're not getting anywhere with it. So maybe a one zero two or just a zero zero two, then go to mortar. Or I can just negate these two and just go straight for shattering shells with just the three zero two. Because I think that's going to be more consistent. Okay, now we can afford shattering shells. We didn't get bigger blast or the balloon buster. We're just going with damage. A little bit of damage over time. I think with this now, we can do a lot more damage over time with the flame damage dramatically increasing from signal. Oh, sorry, just for its burning damage in general. See, look at that. That is some proper damage right there. And because of that, that they went to zebras or zebras, um, while they were still on fire, they can still get damage. But with the uh, zebra property, obviously, obviously uh, because of the black part of it, it can no longer receive damage from explosions. Now, I've just had a thought actually while getting back to this point here. Remember a video I did a, on a 2TC covering Popinor and the Prince of Darkness, where I did it on Cubism? That is no longer possible. I do not believe I can recreate that 2TC because of the bad damage nerfs that the Popinor has received in Update 41. Popinor bonus damage to bads reduced from 6 to 2. So essentially, the amount of damage that it can do to a bad has been dramatically nuked. And speaking of being nuked, <laughs> Corvus has been nuked, honestly. But we've seen it. It's a long time coming. I mean, if you can do a 2TC with an unupgraded Dart Monkey and Corvus, then you know that that tower is broken, honestly. Like, I understand why that the Balloon Tower Defense 6 Index has banned it from 2TCs and not banned it in 2 Mega Pops because, honestly, it still requires that tad bit of support on the more expert maps. So you can see why it's removed from one particular community challenge but not in another. But... These things are as they are. And also, when it comes to one tower chimp co-op, it can essentially do that back in the day. But also the fact that if it can nuke round 98 solo back in the day, then it's an unbelievably broken tower, honestly. <laughs> uh, lovely. Yeah, Prince of Darkness and Popinor, I think is no longer able to be um, re-performed. Unless it's like on logs when it could still be done. But I'm still thinking that that is a, um, a bit of a no, Captain. The video that will be uh, up, sorry, uploaded after this one is going to be a big old tower, definitely. It's definitely including a lot of Paragons, including the new one, Nautic Siege Core. So be on the lookout for that. It's a tradition that I do every time a new Paragon comes out. And it's a tradition, tradition, sorry, that I hold very dearly. We are very close to the Glaive Lord, which is going to be our first of the Tier 5 summoned onto the battlefield. The new B Moab skin looks so cute, but just thinking about how, like, 
these are quite endangered. It makes me feel really guilty just putting it on. Even though I know this is a game, I just look at the bees and I'm like, I don't want to hurt you any boy. You're incredibly beneficial to nature. BFB incoming. The mob, sorry, the lobster looks exactly the same as it was in update 40. Let's see. Now that with the Glaive Lord, we no longer have just our shattering shells to provide to us Moab damage. But look at how far those ricochets fly. Round 63, it's just, it's another, it's just, <laughs> they enter the radius of the Glaive Lord and they're just just absolutely incinerated and actually with the shattering shells it's almost like the glaive lord has not lost its damage to fortified balloons because there's no such thing as a fortified balloon oh, actually there's the zmg actually yeah, yeah, there's, there's still that factor a highlight when it comes to the new cosmic cosmetics though in balloons tower defense 6 and update 41 is Benjamin's new mouse. It's so cute. It's like that meme that it's like, I've only known you for five seconds, but if anyone ever dares hurt it, it will be the end of you. Our next financial goal is, well, we can only buy one more thing in this particular run, and that's for Balloon Incineration, baby. Yeah, that's some really big damage over time when it comes to the BFB there. It's honestly a delight to watch, honestly. Well, this pairing just completely stops the regrow ceramics in their track. Round 78, how are we going to fare on this round? Let's see, ceramics, where are you? There you are. Well, you were there. <laughs> okay, so it does have a, a little bit of a pierce cap there, the initial throwing of a ricochet from our Glaive Lord there. That's, you know what, in some ways that is nice to see. It's not just a pierce cap overlord when it comes to these scenarios. There is some limit to it, and that's a good vein. It's not just a spirit of the forest scenario. Also, speaking of spirit of the forest, I'm just going to add this right now. The fix that Ninja Kiwi did to the spirit of the forest for Glacial Trail is probably one of the biggest nerfs that the spirit of the forest faces because that the sole reason why you would buy a spirit of the forest for Glacial Trail is so that even when spirit of the forest is frozen, it can continuously do damage. But Ninja Kiwi said, nope, that was a bug. <laughs> that should not have been fixed because that should have been a, an integral part of that. You should be able to go through chim scenarios on an incredibly hard map and get through a gimmick by using the tower's advantage. Like, basically, yes, it was a bug, but still, it's, it's a feature. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Oh, we can now get Blue Incineration. Lovely. Oh, just welcome to the melting pot. <laughs> Do you see the eyes of this Blue Incineration? No, because they are subjected to the eight circles of hell. Anyways, the ZUMG here. What's going to happen to this thing? Well, it's going to get absolutely melted. Poor turtle. It's not really a turtle, it's a balloon. But then again, I said something about bees earlier, so I think my argument about bees is now invalid since I'm essentially scorching alive fish related things in the sea or on the beach or whatever casts your fishing rod. You can have a big old fishing rod to try and catch a whale, just to say that out loud. And it might have to be a mechanical fishing rod. But then again, why would you want to catch a whale? All right, since the ceramics are moving too quickly, we're going to move a balloon incineration cursor to over the Glaive Lord. I'm glad that friendly towers do not feel the wrath of the fire, especially knowing how evil the eyes are from the balloon incineration monkey himself. He is having too much fun melting everything into nothingness. Zero MGs. Look at that damage right there. Let's try and alternate between the two ZMG so we can continue to see. Apply that damage over time. Let's see. These are probably a higher priority since they're now faster. And they require more pierce now. Okay, so that's the first ZMG done and done with. Dusted and done with. 
whichever order works, probably none of them. And because we're stripping up a fortified layer, we get some instantaneous damage applied. Lovely. That's one of the biggest advantages to the balloon incineration is that it just removes the fortified layer off. Although it is very bad to use for a sapper achievement, which is probably something I'm going to do a video on one day because I have got it, but it just has taken me a huge amount of rounds or tries within the entire game in order to actually get enough fortified pot. So I think just generally the best way to get it is play an alternate balloon rounds because I think there's more fortified balloons that spawn in alternate balloon rounds generally than let's say on improbable or chimps or anything along those lines. But for the sapper achievements, you can't remove the fortified property and it counts towards a pop because essentially you're popping a non-fortified balloon. There we go, round 89. Or any other balloons, sorry, any other towers of upgrades that just removes fortified property, they're also very bad. Let's see, DDTs instantaneously wiped out there. Very good. That's probably my biggest fear of this entire 2TC is the DDTs, especially the one that spawns out from the bad. Sometimes it's not the bad itself that is the greatest enemy, but it's what's inside of the bad. So round 92 is pretty scary, not gonna lie. A bunch of fortified Moabs followed up by a bunch of ZMGs because for the majority of the part, you're gonna be honed in focusing on those fortified Moabs just so that you can actually deal with them. <laughs> Which is a very scary prospect, honestly. Let's see, what can we do here? Uh, yeah, round 95 might be a bit tricky, just because of the sheer number of them, but... I'd like to be able to try and remove the fortified layer of the Moab itself, thank you very much. Just so that I don't have to deal with their excess amount of damage, damage, damage that they have required in order to pop them all. But again, there's still going to be a PS thing going on here. Although, mortar monkeys tend to have a high PS cap anyway. So, maybe I am underestimating the sheer potential. Also, purple balloons reduce the switching from a balloon incineration to a shattering shells. <laughs> Just saying that out loud. Uh, actually, this is quite a breeze so far. No ceramics leaking down south, which is amazing. It's so good. It's so good, I'm going to win 2024 via landslide. Yes, I can get away with anything because I am this person that I am enacting right now. And the eyes that are emitting from the blue incineration, they are the eyes that I will emit once I win the 2024 presidential election. Let's see, round 96. Yes, DT is blue incineration confirmed. Update 41 mentioned by flare balloons something 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 i talk a load of random bs but i don't care so the glaive lord now no longer does bonus damage to fortified balloons don't worry we just have to get through the um <laughs> the zero mg okay now round 98 this is actually going to be significantly easier than it normally is just because of the removal of special property straight which means all of these BFBs, which are otherwise fortified, are now no longer fortified. Let's see, round 99. DDTs, not an issue whatsoever. Okay, round 100. Oh! No, I don't think we can do it. I was just thinking, could we do a 1 MP times 2 within a 2 tower chimp scenario? And honestly, don't think I have a room for it with the uh, balloon incineration here now this is going to exceed over 1,043,000 without a question or shadow of doubt but this is mainly for the 2tc not for a gimmicky challenge within it let's see come on now any day now bad there we go oh my god i hate this thing uh remove the Oh gosh, having to require extreme precision with our balloon incineration there. It's not on my bingo card for update 41. <laughs> uh, it's not on my bingo card whatsoever, to be honest. Let's see. Put it down there. Uh, the Glaive Lord can handle with those. Glaive Lord is always a fantastic option against 
ceramics. And... Can we deal with the rest of them, please? There we go. So that, folks, is the two tower chimps with the balloon monkey and the mortar monkey with the glaive lord and balloon incineration. I should have just said that out loud. So, yeah, a pretty interesting combination here with these two. And I've gone over two towers that have had quite big changes to them, especially for mortar monkey having the top path basically being buffed once you get to the big one and the bottom path being buffed essentially all round aside from its price of its signal flare increasing but its shattering shells price has decreased and it's decreased more than the uh, signal flares increase so overall you've had a price buff there sky shredders received a price nerf again thanks ninja kiwi for making sky shredder two tower chimps even harder <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard about this actually. Sharing challenge codes is a bit of a, an, an issue right now. You can't do it. Uh, to share, but I've I've just done it. I've just done it. I've just done this. Don't you dare give me that. You've just seen me do it. Oh dearie me. As of update 41, 8 of the 23 towers now have their Paragon treatment. But what's the next tower that's going to receive a Paragon treatment? Ninja Kiwi has not laid out any hints whatsoever in the update 41 patch notes. When it comes to what Paragons they'd like to create in the future, I'm hoping that one day all of these towers receive their Paragon treatment. Even ones like the Super Monkey and the Beast Handler. I kind of hope that the Beast Handler is like the last one since it's introduced to the latest in the game. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Be sure to be on the lookout for a very special video after this one. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves everybody.